Hey everybody, it's SP. Thanks for visiting Just the Best Parts. Today I'm reacting to the final episode of Star Wars Vision Season 2. And I just gotta say, these episodes have been so good. As much as I enjoyed the last season, I think this season was a much stronger outing. There were just so many poignant themes, both historical and cultural, that really resonated with me, and it was really inspiring to see so many studios from around the world contributing to the Star Wars tapestry. Today's final episode is titled Ao Song, or Ao Song, I'm not sure how it's pronounced exactly. Uh, this one was created by South African animation studio Triggerfish. These guys are the real deal. I was checking out some of their projects, and man, they are really freaking good. Do yourself a favor and go check them out. And also, I'm going to be starting a new series after after this, which helps get people up to speed with Star Wars Rebels, as it will be important for those watching Ahsoka when it comes out in August. And lastly, before we get started, I'm going to be doing my very first non-Star Wars film reaction in the very near future, and boy, it's going to be a doozy. Okay, enough rambling, let's dive into the final episode of Star Wars Vision Season 2, Ao Song, and I'll see you on the flip side. Wow, look at this animation. That's got to be claymation, right? <sighs> Looks fantastic. It's like they're fabric, so I don't know if they're like fabric figures that they're actually manipulating. Yeah. Or if it's just CGI done that way. It's always hard to tell these days. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Is it really cute already? She must be checking in with port security. She'll be here soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's here. Remember to keep your distance, Ao. Mm. Ao. Man, this looks so vibrant. I just this love the look of this. It might be more corrupt than an old Jedi like me can purify. Mm. It's very unstable. Very dangerous. Mm. It's a blood crystal. Apologies, Katu. You've grown. And so curious. Hmm. Oh, this is really amazing looking. I just... The look of this is incredible. Hmm. They called to you. Wow. Uh, she knows she's force sensitive then. Wonder, to mine the Kaiba is our calling. Hmm. Yes. And it takes courage to heed the call. You know that to use your voice near the crystal is Whoa. dangerous. That's interesting. Protect you. So what kind of power does she have over you the crystals, though? That's strength, interesting. Though. Okay, let's go. Aww. Oh, that was a cute shot. I love this little village. Wow. That's really amazing. That's cool as hell. Look at that. Is that a Mandalorian? Have a good day at work, Owl. I'll see you this evening. Oh, this is just amazing looking. I know I keep saying it, but man. <laughs> That's cute. Good depth of field on that, too. She's hearing those crystals calling, I think. Oh. Yeah, she's going to get herself into some trouble. Uh, wind an extra ten out here. This tunnel runs deep. was really interesting. Love the camera work on that. <laughs> She's gonna get into trouble. Those angles are amazing. Stay out of there. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Ow. Need to be now. 
episode as well. I think it's very, very good. The visuals are amazing. The story is pretty focused. That was amazing. That was a really cool scene. I loved that. She purified the Kaiba. Wow. <laughs> she purified the Kaiba. Never have I heard anything like it. It is a gift. And I can help you nurture it, but you would have to come with me. Another prevalent theme this season. We cannot choose where our calling takes us, only whether or not to answer. <laughs> That's good Ready? the way they eat. Mm -hmm. She's gonna go become a Jedi. Like I said, that's a very You're similar the theme that I've kind. seen throughout this it's season. I want to see Abby. Oh, I love that. Okay, folks, that wraps up Season 2 of Visions. Really great episode, short and sweet, happy ending. Uh, a nice palate cleanser from last week's heavy episode, The Pit, and a great way to finish out the season. This episode looked and sounded great. I love the visual style, how colorful and bright the palette was. The art and the music definitely had a strong African influence, which was instantly memorable and unique. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of a deep dive here. There's a couple of themes in this episode that are present throughout the season. The more I got to thinking about it, I realized this season really had leaned into female agency and how it's important for you to trust in yourself and follow your dreams. For example, in the first episode, Sith, Lola is a former Sith expressing her best self through art. In the end, she's set free by her willingness to trust in herself. In the second episode, however, Screechers Reach, the message is flipped. Doll wants more than anything to leave her dreary existence, but instead finds herself trapped yet again, this time by a Sith Lord. Perhaps her not listening or trusting in herself, or perhaps being selfish about the things that she wants, this becomes the catalyst that leads to her ruin. She has no problem killing the Sith Apprentice, even after she was no longer a threat. And she also had no problem leaving her friends behind to toil their lives away. This is a case of be careful of what you wish for. In episode three, we find two sisters, Tachina and Koten, the last of their people who are all murdered by the Empire. Tachina believes that she has the power to stop the Empire. She follows her inner voice and in the end, not only defeats the Empire, but also helps her sister to believe in the power of one's inner self as well. We see this theme play out in the excellent episode, The Pit. Livy uses her voice to tell the people to follow the light, which eventually brings their salvation. The character not only believes in her own inner light, but helps others find theirs as well. And there are other examples of this theme throughout the volume. I think it's a relevant and important message more now than ever considering our current climate. Add other themes that are issued as warnings, such as the ravages of colonialism, authoritarianism, anti-intellectualism, and just about every possible badism there is, and you get to the crux of what Visions is trying to get at. Be true to yourself and others. Only you have the ability to light the way when times are darkest. This is what Star Wars has always been about. Not lightsabers, not space battles. It's always been about how to live your life well. It's just wrapped in a cool mythology that makes the medicine go down easier. And I think it's pretty damn cool that some 46 years later, that mythology is alive and well and constantly evolving so it can reach and inspire new generations. So anyway, I hope you like this reaction. Please give me a like, a subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for visiting Just the Best Parts.